All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the HLA subtypes, and this is a really high yield topic. Let's try to make it fun. Here we go. So here we have the He-Man. This is the cartoon character known as the He-Man. So I have him in this picture over here. You sort of just got to stick this one in your head. The HLA subtype A3 is going to be associated with the He-Man. This is the He-Man in A. And Google Chrome, just imagine they changed their logo into like this three. That's the Google Chrome. So He-Man Chrome. He-Man Chrome for hemochromatosis. HLA subtype A3 is associated with hemochromatosis. Let's go to the next one. All right, here we go. B8. So you sort of have to imagine someone sang from the ambulance over here. Don't be late, Dr. Addison, or else you'll send my patient to the grave. Okay, so that's what they're saying. So here is Dr. Addison, and you can remember that because he's an ad son. He has an ad sign on the sun. Ad son for Addison. So he is trying not to be late. So anyway, what's H? So this is the HLA B8. B8 for don't be late. And it's associated with three diseases that we need to know. Dr. Addison for Addison, and my patient for my, my for myasthenia gravis. Here's the patient over here. Maybe that's like some maybe that's like some MRI or something. And then we have the grave for Graves disease. So again, HLA subtype B8 is associated with Addison's disease, myasthenia gravis, and Graves disease. All right, here we have B27, represented by B27 with the 27 Bs. The 27 Bs will help us remember B27. Actually, there's a pair. There's one here and another one here. There's a pair to help us remember pair. The, the famous mnemonic for B27 is pair. P for psoriatic arthritis, A for ankylosing spondylitis, I for IBD associated arthritis, and R for reactive arthritis. If you'll note, most of these terms were arthritis. Arthritis in our videos was always for art. So you know what? Let's make this into art. Ah, that's better. Look at that art. That's going to help us remember arthritis. But how are we going to remember ankylosing spondylitis? Well, that's why I have this ankle over here. It's actually the dog named Spot. There's a dog named Spot, and he has an ankle. So this is Spawn's ankle. Spawn's ankle is going to help us remember ankylosing spondylitis. All right, so HLA subtype B27 is associated with these four things. So this is HLA subtype C, and it's associated with psoriasis. This is represented by Sir Rice. It's a Sir. It's a guy who's literally just rice. His face is rice. He's Sir Rice for psoriasis. HLA subtype C is associated with psoriasis, and that's it. Okay, we come to DQs. The DQs, DQ2 and DQ8. Now, you might recognize this sign over here. This is the Dairy Queen logo. Dairy Queen for DQ. And there's a silly yak over here. The silly yak is going to help us remember celiac disease. And if you want, you can imagine him saying, I ate too much gluten at Dairy Queen. I ate, eight for eight, and two is for two. DQ2 two and DQ8 are associated with celiac disease, represented by the celiac. All right, next. Okay, now we come to the DRs. The DRs, so we need to be aware of DR2, DR3, DR4, and DR5. Let's talk about each one. So here we have doctors, right? Doctors for DR. There's the DR2 for Dr. 2. For Dr. Shu, he's just a shoe. DR3 for Dr. Tree, he's just a tree. DR4 for Dr. Door. And DR5 for Dr. Hive. Let's talk about each one. So let's start with DR2 over here. So if you note, DR2, he has this good pasture over here, right? It's like a nice pasturing area over here. The good pasture area is going to help us remember good pasture syndrome. With hay on it, the hay on it is going to help us remember hay fever. You note there are multiple roses over here to help us remember multiple sclerosis. And there's this slide over here that's like randomly under him over there for SLE. Slee, slide, slide, SLE. DR3 also has a slide, right? He also has a slide. DL Dr. 3 also has a slide under his. Cool. That's because DR3 is also associated with SLE. What are some other associations with that DR3? Well, we have this dyed bead melon over here for diabetes mellitus. Diabetes mellitus type 1. And there's a grave for Graves disease. He has this hash brown over here in the shape of a thyroid. You might not be able to tell, but that's hash browns over there in the shape of a thyroid. Tell us, remember, Hashimoto thyroiditis. And finally, we find the sun over here. The sun over here for, with the ad sign on it for Addison. Addis, ad sun for Addison's disease. But this sun is also supplying light to DR4 because Addison is associated with DR3 and DR4. And behind the door, door for four, there's this room, this room for rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is another association with DR4. And again, there's this dyed bead melon over here that's associated with DR3 and DR4. Diabetes mellitus is associated with both DR3 and DR4. Okay, now let's come to DR5, finally. And this is very simple. He has hash browns in the shape of a thyroid, just like DR3, because Hashimoto thyroiditis is associated with both DR3 and DR5. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this incredibly weird scene on the HLA subtypes. Please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Leave your comments. Be in touch. Alrighty, take care.